high-tech robots have been pitted against each other with Australian students masterminding a fight. The competition aims to encourage the scientists and engineers of the future. In the battle of the bots, preparation is paramount. You have to practice over and over again and you have to keep on doing it till you get it right. It's always really nerve-wracking, um, but we try to keep as calm as we can, otherwise it does affect our performance. When it comes to game time, nerves of steel are crucial, as robots deftly navigate precarious obstacle courses, judged on how they complete a series of tasks. There were so many things that went wrong, we had to alter, but as today we got a really pleasing result, so yeah, we're happy. They may be young, but these competitors don't fail to impress. I am seeing some amazing robots, higher scores than we have ever seen, um, probably some of the highest scores in the world. I am constantly being surprised at uh, what they come up with. Kids often think in ways that adults just can't comprehend. These particular robots took about two months to create, but it's hoped some of these children will turn their passion for robotics into a career and be making them for years to come. Pushing the boundaries when it comes to how science and engineering shape our world. It's not going to be the, the sports stars or the, the celebrities of the future that are going to solve the world's problems like climate change or, or world hunger. It's going to be the engineers and scientists. It's amazing. I think we have a whole new um, uh, cohort of potential Nobel Prize winners, you know, 40, 50 years from now based on what I'm seeing here today. In the older age group, the stakes are raised to a whole new level. Bigger, faster and more dangerous. This kind of technology could be used in, on a larger scale on different planets, in dangerous environments and that kind of thing. Today the mission is to out-robot the other gadgets any way possible. This weekend's winners will go on to compete globally next year. <laughs> Helen Espista, SBS World News.